Hi, it's Jerry again today. Back with another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at connecting our game gaming laptop to our 4K Sony TV. Now, what we've done is we've disabled the screen, and basically, this laptop becomes a little desktop. And for HDMI, we're now using a resolution of um, uh, the TV, uh, 30, 38, 40 by 2160, I believe, and this laptop is the GTX 1060 Intel Core i7700 um, laptop the native resolution on this laptop is uh, 1080 by uh, 75 hertz but so basically we're putting the laptop to its max max on the TV so it can play some games really well at 4k 60 hertz 60 frame rates um, but other games like Grand Theft Auto only got like on low settings only about 40 45 Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raider exactly the same the Witcher um, sorry um, Skyrim exactly the same Skyrim got 60 in some most areas but when you come to the battlefield it didn't look it was it started like a lot of like stuttering so so I thought so we'll, we'll play we'll play today I'm just gonna make this we are going to play I'm just going to make this in so we get a really good picture you folks you can see now sadly this film is only going to capture 1080 but I hope you can enjoy the experience um, it's really in real life it's it's really awesome so I'm using some 1.113 for this because it's actually the best version for Mario Kart so that's actually just set up to race so just go for time trial. When I first started playing 4K, I was used to playing like 1080 at 75 or 1440. But when I started to play 4K, I was actually blown away, especially playing it on a TV. This is just your standard 4K smart TV. Um, I've got VSync on, it does really well. If you turn it off, you do get a lot of tearing, but I hope you enjoy it. I was just, just blown away at how it becomes all, like, really, it's just so, wow. And this is native 4K we're playing this, um, this is native 4K, there is no, we're also using the graphics pack, but it is native 4K. The colour is it just blows you away. And it's just really weird. Now I'm using not the game mode, I'm using the sports mode. It seems to have better colours. The game mode seems to make it look duller.
and there you go. So that pin is going to come out of there. And what we'll do is we'll go into, I can find it, the Elder Scrolls. Right, so the options. So we are going to, no, we don't want 1080. I want, there it is, 4K. So we're going to 4K, but I want low settings for this. Because in all fairness, this is, um, I'm going to probably turn a lot of things off, I think, just to see. Shadow distance, I'm going to turn everything down to, oh, medium is the lowest. I'll leave it as it is, I think. Right, so I'll leave it as that. So it's 4K resolution at low settings. Now, Now I played this for a lot, so level 238, one it kills, it's like, you know, but it's still good, I just enjoy the red, the, the graphics on it. So as you can see, 4K, there seems to be a glitch with this every time I start. Right, so I'm actually just going to come out of this a minute. So we are getting 60 FPS in 4K, even though we've got the settings on low, but when you go with fighting, it does drop. So I'm just going to get out of this just to see... There is a slight rendering issue in the issue in the in the distance, but now we're in 4K, so we're in 4K playing this, and it is just breathtaking, even at low settings. So for playing over a year on laptop, many of the games, but actually playing it on a TV. We are actually getting to see if we had a sudden drop there at 45, but for 4K and 60 FPS on low settings, it's pretty good for this laptop to render that. So for a GTX 1060 mobile version 4K, if you plug in your laptop, it's there or thereabouts on some games. AAA titles, if you can probably overclock it. It might help, but I don't plan to overclock it, so. But, now I know my camera is only picking up 1080, and I hope it can, I don't know if it is 1080, I'm not sure, but what you see, it looks a lot better. But playing on a big screen, um, I've been playing mostly uh, laptops, uh, 17 inch screen laptops for many years, but actually the first time to actually play it on a TV is really good. Oh, I love that depth, I love that graphics, and that lovely 3D motion, that 4K, yeah it's good. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this little video, hopefully to do more videos soon if you want a video um, about connecting with gaming laptops to 4K TV, let us know. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.